Time to break out the shades with today welcoming in the summer solstice and with it a whole lot of sunshine. Fox's Chanley Painter takes a closer look at the science behind the northern hemisphere's longest day of the year. Bad news for night owls. Things are about to get a whole lot brighter with the summer solstice taking place Friday in the northern hemisphere. We're going to have um, earliest sunrise, latest sunset, uh, so the longest hour, number of hours of daylight uh, for the entire year. According to astronomers, Earth orbits around the sun on a tilt. This causes the amount of sunlight hitting the planet to vary throughout the year. When the northern hemisphere is tilted closest to the sun, it results in the summer solstice with sun rays hitting the region more directly. The summer solstice uh, marks uh, the point in our calendar in the northern hemisphere uh, when the sun appears highest in the sky. Around the same time, the southern hemisphere is tilted the farthest from the sun and experiences the winter solstice. And again, this is very much tied to the seasons. Um, and, and the reason we have a winter and a summer is very much a function of, of the inclination of the sun in our sky. Meanwhile, our obsession with the summer solstice in particular is one for the history books with early civilizations closely watching the sun's path for agricultural reasons. People would use um, petroglyphs, cave paintings to mark um, the date of the solstice. The sun would hit a particular spot in a cave on exactly um, noon, on exactly the solstice. And the reason people cared so much is that uh, all of our agricultural history is tied into these dates. Um, you would have to plan at a certain time. But soak up the sun while you have it directly after the summer solstice. The amount of daylight starts falling every day until winter. I'm Chanley Painter, Fox News.